Hi guys, so today we are going to make a thank you basket. Um, my sister recently had a baby, so she wanted me to make a thank you basket so she can give um, to the whole staff. Um, really, uh, it's for one person, but nurses love to share, so we got um, that. Lots of stuff, keeping that in mind. Okay, so this is like a thank you basket. So what I have here, this is a container from the Dollar Tree, and then I also have some filling. I have um, the covering that we're going to use. I have a mug because the nurse loves her coffee. And then I just got a bunch of goodies. So some are from the grocery store, some are from the dollar store, just all sorts of things that um, we thought that they would like. Cookies and chocolate, of course, and apple slices and cashew snacks and just an assortment of different things. So dried strawberries, that kind of thing. Um, so that's what we're going to put in the basket. I don't know if we're going to be able to put all of this in the basket, but we're certainly going to try. Okay, so let's get started. So what I like to do, um, and this is a good trick if you're making a basket or whatever, um, is you want to, first of all, take off the tag. <laughs> Forgot to do that part. And it's kind of, I mean, I love baskets, but it's kind of nice to do kind of unusual um, containers that people wouldn't think to use for baskets. So this is kind of cool. And then I'm going to grab some newspaper and I use that as a filler because this is a lot of area to stuff um, with stuffing. So that'll save you a few bucks. So just take it and crumble it up. Um, and it's really important that you give your basket a good structure. So this helps with that too. It's kind of like aluminum foil and clay. It just gives it a really nice structure to work with. And you don't have to use as much of your filler. So just stuff it in there nice and good. distracted by all of this. <laughs> all these fabulous plants coming to Colorado right now. Wow, that was cool. I'm like, I can go see that one. I can go see that one. You do love plays. And you do want them crumbled pretty tight. And this is all going to go down once we start building our basket. It doesn't come off the sides there. Okay, here we go. Here we're going to get our decorative stuff here. And I probably should have bought another bag of this, but I think it'll be okay. We can make it stretch. But all going to be pushed down. Okay, just like that. And I don't mind a little bit of the newspaper showing, as I said. You'll hardly be able to tell in a second. So, um, let's kind of start out with our heavier stuff. Okay. So I'm going to put the popcorn in the back. And it's important that um, you keep things balanced. Okay? So, just kind of keep that in mind, too. So, Let's put our wafer cookies there, mm -hmm. but you want it to look pretty, so really think about your composition here. So let's grab a few of these candy bars. We'll put our Twix there and our sneakers on this side. And you want these um, so they do pop out and they're at different levels. Okay, so don't like... There's some M&Ms too. And I know that you're tempted to always give nurses good snacks, but 
I tell you, I loved eating the sweet stuff when I worked at the hospital. <laughs> People always got a sweet. There were a few really thoughtful um People that did get us like um, edible arrangements, which is really nice too, but those can be a little bit expensive. But you can make your own sort of too. So maybe we'll stick this here. Oh. There we go. We'll stick that in there. And you really want to push your stuff so it's actually in the basket and make it a little bit better for transport. I mean, there, um, I did show you a basket that I would do for shipping. She's just taking this to the hospital. Um, so it's not that much of a worry, but, and I kind of think that I am going to get rid of that popcorn and I do take things out and in, in and out, out and in. So I think maybe I'll put the popcorn here. And things are going to shift a little bit, and that's kind of just how it's going to be. So, <laughs> right. put those there. And I'd like to make it so that you can see everything on the label, but mm, the chocolate covered pretzels are yummy. <laughs> I want this basket for myself, guys. <laughs> mm, cool. okay. And we almost got everything in here. Shoes. And I really don't care um, if the popcorn is covered. Has a tear in it. Alrighty. Okay, and then we'll put the mug front and center. That's going to add some weight. You could also put it in the middle too. It's just that some things are kind of the same size. So, I'm just picking off this label. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it is important that you take the label off of stuff. Okay. Okay. And I don't like the mug there. So we're gonna do a little bit of rearranging here. I think I'm gonna put my mug here. And I'm going to take those out. Put that there. And let's put our cookies there. And it's okay, I kind of like it. Um, when things kind of spill out, they kind of look like they're spilling out over the side. I think that's really a beautiful look. Oh, we have some chocolate lattes too. These are Russell Stokers, little mint patties. Okay. And you always want to keep in mind the weight, so I'm going to lift this up and see. Um, I think it's fine, but I'm thinking maybe these need to go over here. And I'm still not liking the placement of this mug. other cookies are going to fit. But that's kind of what it looks like, guys. Now, if you wanted to, you could add a ribbon or something. Um, I really like this container. Um, I don't know if it needs anything else, but I'm going to go check. And then the next step that we're going to do is just to wrap it up. Um, but I really like the way that it looks. That's kind of it. I'm sorry, I'm trying push it down there so you can see a little better but I have all the snacks in here it's fairly sturdy so things aren't moving around because I packed it nicely 
and I will give my baskets a shake, especially when I'm shipping them. You want to make sure that everything is nice and secure. So that's good. Very cool. And what kind of snacks do you get? Just an assortment of whatever. If you know what the person likes, then definitely do them and you do what they like. Like if you know that you're the nurse or whoever you're making the basket for loves tea, make a beautiful tea basket with a little bit of cookies and maybe some scones or something like that. The places where I love to get kind of my snack foods and that kind of thing are like um, the dollar store has good ones and they're good. Um, Ross has a good like food section um, and so does like um, what else was I thinking? Big Lots has really good one and they have a lot of snacks that they import from other countries. They have a really good tea selection. Um, you could go just there's all, the grocery store um, sometimes they have specialty items, especially like the small little grocery stores. Um, yeah, there's just, just look around, go into stores that you normally wouldn't go into and you'll find good stuff. Okay. So I'm going to find a ribbon, um, for this basket and then, um, I'm going to see if I want to decorate it. I'm going to kind of take a look back and see. And okay right guys. Back. So now we are going to take some ribbon, I have some here, and I'm just going to tie it around the base of my basket. I think it just needs a little something. So this is kind of a pretty pink color uh, of ribbon that I have in my stash. So I'm going to go ahead and tie it nice and tight. Okay. And sorry, you won't be able to see this part, but I will put a picture at the end so you can see kind of what I did. And I'm just going to try kind of a loose, floppy bow. And you know what I'm going to do? Because this is moving around. Wish you could see on the bottom. It's really moving. See right here? That's not supposed to be out like that. See? I am going to use a little trick here. I'm going to use double-sided sticky tape. We're going to take out this knot first. And this is just a plain satin ribbon. Grab a little skewer here. Getting knots out is very hard <laughs> sometimes. Wish I had nails, but I don't. The only drawback um, for these type of baskets that are in unusual containers is um, that you can't really decorate them with artificial flowers and all that good stuff, which I love. I love to do that. Okay, so let's take this off. And I am going to put a couple of pieces of this double sided sticky tape on the back here. It's going to be totally invisible, but it will keep it so that my ribbon's a little bit tighter. Okay, so I just have a couple pieces here. I'm going to go ahead and you could do hot glue too, but I do like the double-sided sticky tape because it will come out for a little bit easier. All right. And I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I put that ribbon against there nice and tight. And if you wanted to, you could put more, but already it's good. I don't have to worry about it slipping that much. Actually, maybe I'll put a piece here. Sorry, and I so wish you could see this part um, better. Okay, I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to put one on this side too. I'm kind of making sure that they're the same length, but do I really care? Not so much. It's just tying a bow that we want to stay, so I'm not going to get crazy about it. Okay, there we go. So we're going to make sure that that hits our tape. Okay. 
right? And then we're going to tie a bow. So we're going to go ahead and go like this. Nice and tight. Keep your finger in there. Okay, and then we're going to tie. Or actually, we don't even have to tie a bow. Right, do I like a bow? I'm making this for a nurse. She doesn't really feel like she's very, like, frilly to me. <laughs> she's a very nice lady, but I'm trying to think if I want to make it super frilly or if I just want to just make it like a fishtail. I think maybe I will do a fishtail. And I think it's important to know kind of who you're creating a basket for. Um, so, yeah. She was a fabulous nurse. My sister's blood pressure dropped and she was on it. So, I really like that. That's really pretty. And you'll get to see it in the picture. I'm sorry. But <laughs> so, I didn't tie a bow. It's kind of this not looking thing. Can you see there? All right. Okay. All right. So, now I have these bags. And these are really cool. You can use a blow dryer to shrink them. Or heat gun. Um, I usually don't do that. I will take them if I need to. You know, like if there's bulk on the edges. And it comes with a bow that I never use. <laughs> Very cool. Now this part I'm going to have to stand up for. It kind of helps to have another person too. But first here. Open the bag. Clear off my space here. And I open it nice and wide. And I just try to make sure that the base is centered. And then I like to go ahead and, oops, and take some tape. But first I put a rubber band around it. So I'm just getting my scotch tape here. Alright, let me see this, okay? And you just want to make sure that your bow or your decoration is how you want it. Sometimes it gets a little snap. So. And you want to take out all the air or as much air as you can. So just bring those leaves around. And this is a small rubber band, but it's going to be covered, okay? But you see these, can you see that? I'll show you here. You see these little wings on the side here? Okay. I want to take those back. If you shrink wrap it, then you don't have to worry about that. They'll kind of collapse on themselves, but I'm not going to do that. I just don't do that. I don't really like that look sometimes. I really love wrapping in tool, but my sister didn't want to be cool. So with fabric, these are my favorite baskets. Okay, so we're going to go on the base here. I'll show you here. Just like that. And I'm going to keep it. I use clear tape so you really can't tell. You want to tape it so it looks pretty. You know, so be neat about it. Okay. 
and we do it every all our taping on the back side and on the bottom. And um, don't make it too tight because you don't want to smash everything in your basket. just use coordinating ribbon to wrap it up with. But this doesn't take very long. I mean, it probably took me 10 minutes and it would be a lot quicker if I wasn't on camera because I'm used to this and I love making um, beautiful gift baskets. So, And these are usually, usually my baskets take at least two or three hours to make just because I add a whole bunch of decoration and um, they're really pretty. So. And then on the bottom, sorry I'm out of view, I just want to tape a little bit too. And just make it so it's not such an eyesore. Very good. See? Okay, so it's all taped in the back and it doesn't look too bad. And I think that's good. I do not like this cashew. It's bothering me, so I'm going to push it up a bit. <laughs> okay. Just like that. And then I can take my rubber band off now because I have the structure that I want. Okay. And again, it's always helpful to have another person, but we're going to use some more of our ribbon here. I probably won't tie a bow. And you can keep the, the rubber band on if you need it, if, especially if you're tying it by yourself. It can be a bit tricky. So, you got it. I'm kind of used to it though, because I usually have just my own hands. So we're just going to tie a simple knot. I usually like um, to do it towards the side, but I think I'm going to do it towards the front. So we're going to just over we we'll just make an X, right? That's the easiest way to do it. And then you're just gonna pull one in through. Then I grab one in. And I just pull one. And then check it and see if you need to make it lower. I personally think that this needs to be a little lower. sometimes and then hold tight grab a tail and pull nice and tight okay. there you go that's better okay and then we can tie kind of a loose bow decide um, I probably should have made them a little bit more even my tails I kind of like them when they're long and short is that weird I don't think so And then we can just cut off a little bit of this top part, like so. I don't like when it's hanging. Alrighty, do I like that bow? And 
and actually I'm going to spin this around so it kind of matches the bow that I have on the bottom, if that makes sense. It's different than what I normally make, but it's pretty. I like it, I think. Okay, and I kind of like the, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so I am going to take a picture of this so you guys will be able to see the finished work. And um, that's it, guys. If you want to see more baskets that I've made kind of in my own style, um, then please um, check out the playlist. I'll connect an iCard now so you can watch that. It'll be on the screen. And that's it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Make sure you make thank you baskets for people. It's such a wonderful gift. And you can customize them and put in all the things that you love. It's just, it just makes a wonderful gift. So I hope you make something for someone that you love today. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.